Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Dirtshark32 here. And today I'm doing the aftermath video of the wagon. Now, uh, back here don't look too different, but uh, just 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 wait till we get to the front. Um, now, got last place in the heat race. I did put on a good show, or it was a fight for first place in the heat race. Then I ended up spinning out, uh, but that's okay. I got first in the reverse heat. And then I didn't finish the figure eight, and you guys will see why. Now, um, back here, um, I, I was getting really good in the heat race about swinging my rear end around and hitting him. Uh, this hole here was from the figure eight when this guy came in right about here, and his bumper was right there. And But, uh, yeah, you guys are going to see what's up with the front end. Now, this fender isn't up against this tire at all. Um... Yeah, <laughs> you'll see on the other side why that tire is like that. I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, yeah, that tire is way up against that frame there. Of course, sport underneath of it got all ripped out, bumper, all the welds fell off. I think the radiator is done. But uh, yeah, as you can see here. <laughs> Um, me and this guy, we tried avoiding each other because we were going to have a dead on, you know, straight up head on. Um, but we tried avoiding each other and this is the end of what happened. Um, I ended up breaking his uh, shift linkage. And uh, he ended up, uh, hopefully it's just a twisted tie rod. But uh, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm really hoping I can make it to the Sunday races. Um... Like I said, I'm hoping it's just a bent tire rod and nothing else. Um, but uh, in the figure eight, I don't know if I'll be able to post the videos or not, but hopefully I will be. Um, I'm hoping that the radiator's fine, but I don't think so. But the overflow just exploded in there. Here, I'll show you guys. And uh, I don't know if the camera quality is going to be better or 